In this video, we're going to introduce the Bullet Dynamics Properties panel. To open the Bullet Dynamics Properties panel, from FX Tools, select Item Properties. In the left part of the panel, we can find a list of the dynamic items available in the scene. We also have some menus here, the Edit menu. From here, we can use Add From Layout Selected to make the currently selected item a dynamic object. We can deactivate the selected item, deactivate them all, or activate the selected one or activate them all, then remove dynamics from the selected item or from all items. We can also open the preset shelf or save a preset. Then we have the select menu and from here we can select all rigid, all static, all kinematic, all parts, all deforming objects, uh, even forces or constraints. At the moment we don't have any forces or constraints in the scene, so for example, if we select all rigid from the view menu, we can filter which kind of dynamic item we want to see in the list. The right part of the panel shows the current settings of the selected dynamic item and let us change them if needed. For example, we can change the collision shape from a sphere to a cylinder or a capsule. Or we can change the collision merging or choose a different mass distribution method or a different mass specification. Change the density, the friction, the bounciness, the linear or angular damping. If we click on World, we can change some global settings, such as gravity, the dynamics calculation frame rate, or the time scale. For more information about the Bullet Properties panel, please have a look to the documentation.